So on this rather snowy Monday morning, you can see there's a, quite a bit of snow on the ground. So on this rather snowy Monday morning, I thought I would take those of us who might need some help through this, since this is our third winter now in Canada. But some background, I have a five-year-old daughter who absolutely loves the snow and playing in it and having fun. So I thought I would just share some uh, winter gear for five-year-olds. And it's pretty much applicable to most kids and even some adults. So first things first is we've got our snowsuit. So this is kind of what a snowsuit looks like. Um, some snow pants, it's quite nice. They've got lots of layers. Um, you tuck these in to the, you know, over the boots so the boots don't get snow in them. You know, some come with Velcro, some come with zips. So um, I find these to be super awesome, especially the ones for kids that go over the shoulders. To be honest, for adults, I actually, if you can find ones that go over the shoulders, it's so much better than trying to pull up your snow pants with wet gloves. <laughs> so um, these are great. Uh, I can also recommend for kids, these don't have the clips but or the velcro but i actually quite like the snow suits that have the clips of the velcro it enables them to take it off easier when they go to uh, the bathroom without having to take off all the layers on top so snow suits generally you can buy them together uh, you can also just buy snow pants on their own and obviously coats on their own um, the jackets are quite nice make sure you have a jacket that can kind of tighten a bit and, and catch the wind so it doesn't go in um, what I like about this one as well is it's got, excuse me, it's got a, oh, see if I can find it, it's got an extra layer here that you can tuck the, into the glove um, for that extra little bit of warmth. And then what we also do is then talk about the gloves. So my favorite brand is this Combi brand. Um, I found them at Winners as well as at MEC and some other places too. Um, these are quite nice because they're really long and stretchy. My daughter loves to build snowmen and play in the snow. And this is Nova May. Say hi, Nova May. Hi. Is this your snowsuit? Yeah. Are we gonna wear it to school today? Yeah. All right, cool. Let mommy finish telling everyone, okay? Um, so yes, the gloves, I love the longer ones. These ones are great for playing in the snow, the mittens. I also like the finger gloves. Those are great, but I find these keep them the most warm and she also likes these the most. Um, this is a neck warmer. I highly recommend a neck warmer because it keeps the neck warm and you can pull it up over your face as well, uh, both kids and adults. And here is our toque. T-O-Q-U-E, or our beanie, as us South Africans call it. Again, what I've learned about beanies is you need to get ones that are lined on the inside, otherwise the air gets through. Um, I also like this one specifically because it covers the ears a bit better than some of the others do. So this has been a great beanie for us. This one was from MEC. So I want to talk about boots as well. My daughter does clearly wants to be in this video. So boots, uh, Sorrel's are awesome. I actually have a pair like this in my size, which I absolutely love. They are great um, for snow. These are quite nice because you can actually take out the inserts and give them a wash. Um, they come on and off really easily. Uh, that's why they're pretty cool. My favorite, 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 favorite though are bogs. These are the her bogs. And I adore these because, okay, these are a little dirty. I gotta give them a good clean, but you can see they're very well used. So the bogs are super awesome. Um, I love that they have the handles because it's easy for them to take on and off and it's easy to carry as well. You can see they're a bit higher than the Sorrels too. And they're made, I think, from a very, very thick neoprene. So they actually go down to minus 30. They're also very, very waterproof. So even when it's raining, she can run out in these and keep her feet dry and warm. Um, they got some good grip too. So my favorite, honestly, are the bugs. So the next boots that I'm gonna show you, these are personally my favorite aesthetically. These are her Manitoba mucklucks. These are made in the tradition of the First Nations. And I must admit, 
I think last winter, these boots got the most price per wear. So you can see they're still being used as well. The Manitoba Mucklux. So they're super cozy and warm inside. I absolutely adore the details on them. I must warn you though that they are real fur. Uh, I was torn about that as well, but I really like supporting the indigenous businesses here in Canada. And it is, I don't want to say it's ethically practiced for the fur because that can also be said for all the meat we eat. Uh, but it is a traditional business based on traditional practices. And honestly, she loved these boots. Did you love these boots last year, Nova May? Were they your favorite? <laughs> so these, and they're so beautiful. I'm like, and they have, I think she wore these pretty much every day in winter. And what I loved about them is because they're so cozy inside, she even got away with wearing them without socks. Ideally, you'd want socks, Nova May, but she, uh, she got away with wearing those without socks and they just slip on and off so easily. But as far as snow play goes, and if you're only gonna have one winter boot, I would highly recommend the bogs. And in saying that as well, all of this can be purchased probably secondhand or gently used on Facebook Market or Kijiji or anything like that. Um, our Mucklux and our Sorrels, uh, no, our Mucklux we bought on sale, that was great. Our Sorrels and our Bogs we bought on Facebook Market. Um, the toques I like to buy new, as well as the gloves. But even the snowsuits, we've got some great backup snowsuits that we bought on Facebook Market. And then for those heading off to school, or for those who just want to label something, Mabel's Labels, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you have if your kids have been in school here in Canada. But Mabel's Labels are awesome. As you can see, we kind of label everything in there. And they kind of stick to the clothes, and they last through all the washing, I've found. So this is my bit on uh, our Canadian winter gear. We need to get ready and go to school. It is a beautiful snowy day and we're gonna make sure we're warm. And honestly, with snow gear like this, you don't even feel the cold. It's quite amazing. And trust me, when you put it on and you're playing outside and you come in and you take it off, you realize how roasty toasty and warm you were. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. I am by no means a Canada winter expert but I see a lot of people posting about winter on our forums. So I thought I would just share what I've learned and my knowledge here. So may we all have an incredibly beautiful Canadian winter because as the saying goes, hate it or love it, the snow is coming anyway. So you may as well make the most of it.